Hi right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, run the Time Quest Timing Analyzer um, in Cordis 2. So if you played around with it a bit, you might um, notice that you get a bunch of errors everywhere. So for instance here, everything in red indicates that we haven't met our timing uh, requirements. So we have a negative slack, which isn't good. And over here too, we have a negative slack. So um, to fix this, you actually have to tell um, the timing analyzer what the period or uh, frequency of your clock actually is in your circuit. It won't know uh, beforehand. So to do that, um, you're going to have to go ahead and create a new uh, synopsis design constraints file. And we're going to write a bit of code to tell um, to tell the analyzer that our clock is actually uh, has a 20 nanoseconds period, so it's a 50 megahertz clock. Um, now here you have to make sure that this clock uh, matches whatever port is your clock in your actual file. So for instance in here we have a port called clock, so we have to write the exact same thing here. Just save that. We'll call it uh, the same as your top-level design entity. And okay, let's try running it again. So the analyzer actually has to perform a full uh, analysis and synthesis before it runs uh, the time analysis. So now we see in our slow and fast model nothing is read anymore. We've met our timing requirements and it's because we actually uh, set our clock correctly. So you see if you go into clocks right here it says it's 50 megahertz, 20 nanoseconds period which is exactly what we wanted and everything runs pretty smoothly. So if you've actually set your clock to 50 to whatever your clock um, frequency is and you're still getting errors that means the problem is with your circuit itself most likely. Alright, uh, thanks guys. See you next time.